Hola, 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 mis amores, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Espero que están teniendo un muy buen día y un muy buen semana. Happy week. Hope you're having a good day and a good week. How are you? Welcome to the IPG group. So, first things first, y'all, the, you, it, when I tell you that Didi is done for, please believe me, because I've been making, I've been making so many videos that my whole sleep is upside down. Like I've been having to turn videos like I've never had to turn videos before. Okay. Like three, four videos a day. All right. Because that's how quickly a new story keeps coming out on Didi. All right. Like, so if y'all can do me a favor, please go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out so, so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, but yeah, also I am doing a giveaway. So we're doing a giveaway. So we are doing a giveaway. I'm so, so excited about this giveaway. We want to celebrate hitting the 30K subscriber mark with you. And we are extremely, extremely happy that you're here. And that's something that we want to experience and celebrate with you. So we decided to do a giveaway. We're giving away some really, really cool stuff here. Um, a lot of electronics. We also have um, a lot of things that we're giving away in order to further promote your health and your beauty. Uh, I, in particular, one of the things that I love the most is this, is, it's a it's a headset and what it does is it, it cancels out all the noise when you're about to go to sleep or if you're trying to take a nap and you just kind of put it on, it's nice and comfy and it promotes your overall sleep. So another really, really cool thing that we are giving away is something that this channel heavily, heavily promotes, and that is safety. So one of the things that we are giving away and one of the winners will win is an alarm and it's a portable alarm, ladies. So you can put it in your purse. You can take it with you. You can go wherever you want to go and have that with you. And it's small portable device. And if anything ever happens or you ever find yourself in any dangerous situation, you can literally click that device and it will send an SOS. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I cannot wait to uh, send this to the winner as well. So there are three steps to signing up for the giveaway. The first is to make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The second, leave a comment below. Let us know what your thoughts are, what you think. And third, go to our website, ipgirlies.com and subscribe for our weekly newsletter. And that's it, as easy as that. So once you do that, we'll have all the information that we need and it's going to run all the way till the end of December. So we have just a few weeks. We're gonna be picking a total Total of five winners. So make sure to take advantage of that and um, sign up. We will be picking a total of five winners. Then we will be announcing the winners with their username, most likely, and sending those gifts out promptly. Okay. All right. So let's get into the story, y'all. So it turns out um, that Diddy, don't about it. No, no one wants him at, I'm just, there's no way to sugarcoat it. No one wants to sit next to him at the Grammys. The Grammys don't want him. The Grammys do not want him. So we've had some celebrities um, come out saying that they don't want to be seen sitting next to Didi at the Grammys. So now we have a major, major problem because what are they supposed to do? Uh, clear the a whole room for Diddy? because no one wants to sit next to him and no one wants to sit close to him y'all when i tell you this thing is escalating this thing is escalating let's let's look at this let's let's see what they're saying about this so so it looks like there's a, a crisis over seating plan as stars refuse to sit next next to or near Sean Didi Combs after SEX claims. <laughs> you think? I bet all the all the women, um, all the women stars are like 
no thank you like i'm not putting myself at risk you never know he might like lose his mind and try to backhand me or something if i'm sitting next to that that psycho right like all the women are like uh no thanks you think i'm gonna put myself in his vicinity yeah right not happening <laughs> that's what i would be saying uh no so the Grammy the the Grammys sitting plan has been plunged into chaos by claims made against rapper Sean Didi Combs. Organizers normally only have to worry about the egos of the stars in the room, but we can reveal that in the wake of RAPE and SA allegations against the hip hop star more like hip hop asuser, right? A number of celebrity agents have asked for their clients to be seated away from him. And you know the celebrity agents are like no nonsense on that. The celebrity agents are like, heck no. Nah. <laughs> Those celebrity agents, even even without the stars getting involved, you know the celebrity agents had already been made that phone call like you better not you better not even think about it <laughs> they were they making the calls heck no nah, you better not put my star next to that it's not gonna happen <laughs> no one wants to get entangled in this mess right um this week combs settled a lawsuit with his ex-girlfriend cassie who accused him of of asusing her for more than a decade and on friday two more women filed civil cases against the star accusing him of r-a-p-e and s-a so he's down in the trenches and he just keeps dwindling and going lower and lower and lower and lower and no one wants to get caught up he's literally this story has blown up so much that there is a, a bunch of people getting caught up left right center that were never even a part of it to begin with y'all that's how bad this story has blown up and so you know people are running and ducking and running and ducking for cover it's crazy you get what you get as a result several academy officials are pushing to remove the supposedly billionaire i don't think he's a billionaire and y'all keep in mind that being a billionaire is net worth it's not like oh you have a billion dollars sitting in a bank account somewhere now usually usually wealthy people don't keep all that cash right it's usually in assets right so it's houses it's companies it's all of the stuff that is valued at a certain amount to add up to a billion but it's not like an actual cold cash billion they'll usually maybe keep maybe like five hundred thousand in an account because of inflation I mean, that money would just die, literally like just off of inflation. So it's usually maybe around like 500,000 that they'll keep in cash and the rest of it is tied up equity. So he doesn't actually have like a billion. He's not actually a billionaire. And even if he is, he's about to not be because all these people that are coming out, he's gonna have to pay up. And apparently the FBI has entered the chat from what I heard, from what I heard, I don't know. But that's just what I heard is that the FBI has finally signed into the chat. So he's screwed. Is If that's true, I mean, he's done for. He ain't, he ain't got no money. He's broke. Okay, that's a brokey. So, <laughs> and also in the court of public opinion, he's done. It's like in the court of public opinion, you're guilty. You did it. I would say in the, car, in the court of IPG, squad opinion <laughs> you too i mean he's getting dragged out here it's like it doesn't even matter what the it, it, what might happen in the court and stuff like that he cannot outlive this he cannot like come back from this this you cannot come back from this it's not possible it is not possible not possible so you know it is what it is and you get what you get he's getting what he deserves but it's still not enough i hope more and more keeps coming out on him because he needs to be stripped of all his money that's the first and most effective way to get to these types of animals is taking away their money you can literally let them roam free and not even put them in jail and taking away their money will do 
it's like it's like putting them in, in hell on earth because they ain't got no money they ain't got no power everyone's gonna be looking at them like and who are you and that's everything that he lived for that's what he sold his soul for yet now he's a public embarrassment all across the internet so anyway as a result several academy officials are pushing to remove billionaire superstar from grammys from the grammys guest list the music insider tells us the formal invitations go out this month there's conflict at the academy as several voting members do not think it would be appropriate to invite diddy who's pushing back against that it's like who's saying oh no we should still invite him like who is drunk on y'all's member team no one even watches the Grammy anyway so can you imagine further ruining y'all's reputation by having an individual that has been charged with or accused of i should say not charged with accused of essay by several different women and we've con we've been talking about how he might be connected to certain deletions of people like someone with this type of of repertoire and resume what's the discussion like who's that one person that's like trying to fight back against it probably didi <laughs> He's probably because I mean, it's like, who else? You know, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something because this is like crazy. Let me show y'all this because you're going to be like, huh? When you see this, this is like such a huge, huge issue. Take a look at this. Okay. Take a look at this. Okay. The United Nations has identified gender-based violence against women as a global health and development issue. That means on a global level across the world, gender-based violence, men against women. Men being violent and deleting women has been identified. They've made this a global crisis. And this isn't just any old like internet. This is a research article. And this information is actually coming directly from the United Nations. You can see United Nations, the reference right there. United Nations 1989. That's how that's how they document where the information came from. Directly from the United Nations. If you didn't know, the United Nations has 193 nations across the globe all together and all of them together has have identified gender based violence against women as a global health and development issue so y'all when i tell you to stay away from these males to not share a house with these males to not count on them for anything jack squat don't even be in their vicinity do not be opening your likes for nobody. Don't don't do any of that. They are animals. They lie. Also, don't believe anything that comes out of their mouth. I don't care how good it sounds. I don't care how good they are at lying. So when I'm telling you these things, it's for your own good. It is based off of very real concrete data. Okay. Very real concrete data. And here we go, here here we go, having to deal with this whole thing with Didi. He's just a speck. He is literally a representation of most males that are out here. But the, to add insult to injury, most males don't even have no money. They don't have no money, but they will exhibit the exact same behavior, but you broke. The audacity, right? So some, including several high profile African-American members fear that inviting him sends the wrong message to audiences and the charities it supports. Several public publicists have asked that their artists aren't seated by him. It is a logistical nightmare. If they invite him, I mean, the Grammys is already kind of a joke anyway. No one watches that thing. It is super boring. I don't even know what they're what what it's still there for but if they end up inviting him that just makes it even more of a joke and that is going to further propagate this story and then you might have even more stories come out as a result of that 
you'll probably have even more stories come out. Even more celebrities will be dragged right into this crap because you know, in Hollywood, this is this is what they're all about: doing stuff like this, asusing women. You know, and a lot of them are black. I don't understand. I don't know why, but a lot of them are black males doing doing this stuff. And I know that there's a lot of other races and especially Caucasians doing this, but I guess maybe they're smarter about getting caught. Who knows? Right. So I guess I don't know, you know, if the fact that it's it's the African Americans <laughs> that are the loudest doesn't surprise me. Okay. Sweet Cassie, who was signed to Combs label, bad boy record, who knew that that was like a literal name, like literally, alleged SA, H, H T, and S B, S A, and G M violence, among other causes of action. She also accused Combs of forcing her to have SCX with male prostitutes for him to film. I don't know if I can say that word. That's why I said it like that. Combs attorney said in the statement that the settlement does not in any way undermine his flat out denial of the claims. He's not denying it. He's not admitting it. What, what is he really doing? He ain't doing nothing but assessing women and looking stupid out in these streets, looking super stupid and embarrassed. Look how, like, he's so ugly. I can't get over how ugly this guy is. I don't understand what these women were doing with this, like, no amount of money. You have all that money and you look like that still. Like, I don't, to me, he's not attractive. That's my opinion, but he ain't attractive in my opinion. Can't walk around with ashy lips. Can't do that. So that's the latest news. You get what you get. So many stars have their names have already been dragged into it, like Wale, Jay Z. I mean, all these names have come up already in association with this guy. So you know the whole Hollywood, and I will keep saying this: the whole Hollywood, they need to burn it all down because they all doing the same thing. They are all doing the same thing. It is like the norm of living. It's the, the way that they live over there, but it's unacceptable because you're drawing innocent people into your disgusting character. You have innocent kids, none the wiser, striving to go to this hell on earth. Unacceptable. You're assusing women, using women as objects. You know, it's no wonder women all around the world do no longer want to give birth. Women all around the world in masses no longer want to give birth. They no longer want to be married. They just want to be in peace and harmony in their own space. And we're building more and more women-centered groups and communities, especially online. But you you gonna sit here and wonder why this happening. It's because 97 to 98% of males are animals. Not worth the time. All right, y'all. Let me know what you think on this case. And don't forget to join for the giveaway that we're having in celebration to our 30K membership. And um, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for joining. Talk to you soon. Bye.